Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is something similar to the list object that we have on Visual Designer, but we're going to do some stuff here in the software. So uh, let's go to the software and see more of this. So basically the idea on the list object is I have like a definition okay of images that i want to show based on uh, analog value so imagine i want to show um, a square when i have the value zero and i want to show uh, a star when i have the value five and i want to show a circle when i have the value 20. okay that is the idea in the real use could be like a bulb if I, if the bulb is uh is open i can show uh, in green the bulb in green if it's a fault in a bulb probably i can show the bulb in red if it's closed i can show it in gray so that can be used uh, having for example three different objects located in the same position and then you just play with the visibility okay that's one way to do it, it's not wrong, it's one way to do it. Another way is to use this kind of list of um, images. So you can have one unique space and then just one variable to indicate that instead of using several. So one way to do this here in Operator Terminal Expert is by using the contents and using the converters, okay? So imagine that we are going to have like um, the doom, let's see, um, a bulb. Okay, so let's try to use a bulb here. So I'm going to use um, content ID uh, 100. Okay, and I'm going to create a view box. So in this view box, what we're going to do is to draw our bulb. Okay. So here, um, just try to do it quickly, okay. Uh, control C, Control B, and this one here, 180, good. Hopefully you get the idea, okay. You can use uh, a defined object in case you have it but if you have the possibility to draw the object here and have more time than me in doing it um, then i suggest you to do it so you can access to the complete information of the of the options so let me just order these two backwards on top let's add this over here and it is over here it's just a valve <laughs> so um so what we can do now is to replicate this object multiple times with different colors but first what i'm going to do is to here the type of the of the background i'm going to put it as none so it doesn't get involved with what i have so now that i have this base um so it's going to be bulb green oops bulb green i'm going to copy this one okay and copy paste it I'm going to use 101 bulb red uh, now here what i'm going to do is to change the color okay so it's going to be red Okay, red, 
prefer this is the part that's going to take more time but I'm just trying to show you quickly how it can be done okay okay you also have the the other parts um okay so bulk bread and now let's add copy and paste uh 102 bulb um right so this one just to indicate that is this goes it's uh, it's taking time but Hopefully you are going to get the idea quickly. Good. So I have the my three different objects. Okay. The idea that instead of using an image and using this is that because I can play with the with different things over here in case I want to assign different colors and everything I can do it over here. Okay. So this will be one way. So trying to replicate like an image list. Another way will be to have one of these. Uh, objects and then change the color okay based on what I have but that will be another story so here once I have this okay um, what I can do is to content display okay and call that image that I have okay the image that I have but if I the idea now if I use this for example to change okay I can change the visibility and the only thing that I need to do instead of using this fixed value I need to link it to a variable okay so now if you link this to a variable to analog variable you probably have uh, different things on your project you don't have this content number to show why you what you got so let me just put this over here define a variable just to show you here variable let's use an integer um, open bulb 01 okay this probably comes from the PLC not from here but let's just show you what I got so variable val one so here I'm going to add this uh, numeric display just to show you okay current value variable this one so just show you device simulate okay so zero doesn't going to show anything at all over there one it's 100 101 and it changed the color it's like having an image list now this is good but in your logic you probably don't have these numbers of the um for the visualization you have something more standard for example one is true one is on zero is off and two is alarm okay just an example so you will need to match those values that came from the plc to the animation that you have so one way to do it is using the converters and here is the trick so on the converters you just need to select the range so here C visibility valve okay here you gonna have a numeric entry okay and results numeric so in this case as I have three objects I'm going to use the range of three so here the input will be the value that you have on your PLC for example if zero means off then I want to visualize the gray which would be the value 102 if the valve is on 
so for example the value 1 on the PLC then I want to visualize the value 100 and if it's another one for fault in this case it's going to be the red that is going to be 101 okay so now we need to use this converter on the object that we want so variables here okay I'm going to leave this as it is just to show you oops I duplicate the stuff okay so this is the other content um instead of showing here what I'm going to do is to show variable the same valve okay but here I'm going to use the converter okay so here the converter will visualize the information that I have here one or two okay so the by simulate and if everything goes well Val converter Val converter just bear with me a second okay and I'm back so here I'm going to link the options over here that I will call from here okay ah just delete this from here okay get the box over there screen one okay so um device simulate okay let's simulate now this so to, to, as you can see in the other screen I have the value 0 okay and show uh, is showing me the the valve okay in the gray now if I use the number 1 it's gonna be in true on and if it's 2 it's gonna be 0 so here I'm using the values I came from the PLC with the converter in order to show the content that it want if I don't use this, I need to use the other way, that is to use the numbers of the content instead. Okay? But it's not good. So, this can also be applied with different uh, variables, because we have, we have already defined the images, and now we just need to use the variables. So, here, if we use the, uh, what is it, the variables, Going to create valve one, two, and three. So I don't know what is copying me the other options. Okay. So I have the valve two and valve three. Okay. If you see an square inside the yellow part is means that you're using a convert otherwise you should be able to see something like this totally yellow yellow orange totally on that color if you have something in white it means that you are using a converter in there so i'm going to use this one with value two the reason of this is just to show you that in this way you don't use too many resources to have different images you just have one object uh point to different contents so device, will if I change this one to three? Let's see. So this one I have different contents, okay? Three contents for one of the each valve, and each of the content I'm pointing to the same content that had information. So this one is gonna be one, this one's gonna be two. I didn't change this one. There we go. I 
was sure that I haven't done that. So this one is only one, two, and this one, one again. So here you can see the potential of having uh, content as a list of images that we have on Vitreo Designer, but now here we can do it in a different way. So we can use the content that we have and only change. And in case we need to change something, we can change here on the content itself rather than changing on the image itself. So this one, if I don't want this, I want it in pink and this one in, I don't know, this color, which has the really can use it in that way. Okay. Simulate device, simulate again. You just change everything in one part instead of having an editor for the images and everything. Okay. So this is one of the good potential of having the image inside. But if you have a, a specific image and you are not able to do it in here, you have to just import it. So this is how you can use the list images similar to what we have in GeoSign part in Operator Terminal Expert using the contents and the converters. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.